Hi guys, I'm Tadas. I'm a realtor here in the San Jose Bay Area and I'm here today in south of downtown San Jose on a beautiful street as you can see and I'm here to meet with Zygmunt Beck who is an awesome local contractor here who built um, a passive solar addition to the home to help the home reduce uh, its energy load and also make it a more comfortable space to live in. So let's go meet uh, Zygmunt and follow me and let's learn from him. My name's Sigmund. I own Sigmund Beck Construction. I design and build green and solar projects. This is a project that I did that was to repair and replace an element of the house that was built without a permit and done in a way that it attracted termites and rot. We went to the city and got a permit to build a direct gain passive room that is self-heating. There are three elements to the room that are the most important. One is the south facing windows on this side. They collect sunlight in the winter, um, but the overhang, which is another element, keeps the sun from penetrating into the room in the middle of the summer. So it gains heat in a way that's appropriate to the seasons. The other element, which is on the inside, and we'll show you when we get into the inside is the thermal mass. It collects the energy that comes in in the winter and stores it so that in the evening when the sun isn't shining, it's still comfortable in the room. The roof is an Energy Star rated um, roof membrane made by Conklin Company. It reflects the UV light so that in the summer, you're not getting the penetration of the heat from the sun through the roofing. Let's go inside so I can show you the elements that are, you can see from in there. All right. The mass that I talked about earlier is in this room, it's in the floor, which is a poured concrete that's colored and textured. It's a part of the foundation. Also in the brick of the chimney, Masonry material absorbs heat when it's in the sunlight, as you have seen at the beach or other places you mm -hmm. may have been. Um, and another element are the windows. Yeah, so that's something that's interesting, right? Because most people think, I want a low E window that's going to keep most of the heat outside. And this is just simply not the case in this project, is it? Right. The low E would keep the penetration of the heat in the winter um, from getting to the mass, right. which is what we want to heat. Which would be counterproductive, wouldn't it? Right. Yes, okay. So. And these windows are nice because they ventilate from the top or the bottom, and they also have an added feature that you can clean. Oh, but oh you can clean it from inside. You can clean it from inside. Yeah, they're okay. They're, they're not low E because, like we talked about, the low E would keep the penetration of heat when we want it. Right. You can see that um, you know it's May now and we have almost got no sunlight coming in to the room itself. Right. And that's because of the overhang was engineered in such a way that that would be the case. Okay, so in the summer it's actually, it keeps cool. And in the winter because we have more sun penetrating. Tell me, show, show us again how far the sun penetrates and how far does it heat, uh, in, heat the sun? In December yeah. when we were working here we were getting penetration of the sunlight to about this level on the brick. Okay. So and the whole floor was illuminated and absorbing heat. And later down the road, I'm assuming it was, it's, there was the same heat stored in these elements, was able to uh, go back into the house and heat the, heat, right. heat the inside of it. When they open up the doors, the heat migrates into the house and helps <laughs> the furnace to keep the house warm and reduce their energy costs. Got it. Passive solar design really is just smart design. It utilizes the position of the sun in the various seasons to reduce the energy demand of your house, lowering your cost for heating and cooling. Um, this room will help to heat, the migration of the heat in the room will help to heat the house. And it also keeps the house from overheating um, in the summer. 
by providing thermal mass, which absorbs heat and doesn't change temperature, and, um, and providing a large area of space between this wall and the outside of the building. Sigmund, I see the neighbors also have a perfectly wide roof. Tell us more about uh, you know, what, what, what they did here. Yeah, I originally, the first place I worked was over here at the next door neighbor's house and I reinforced the roof so that they could put another cool roof on it. It's a white concrete tile roofing that has the added advantage of being able to integrate solar panels into the roofing. They're not on top of the roof, they are actually a part of the roof. They're on the opposite side of the building, which is the southwest corner. Got it. What's the, what's the real benefit of having a cool roof on a house like this here? It, it reduces your cooling load, um, your air conditioning in need for the summer. It uh, reflects, like, like the roof next door, it reflects the UV light so that your attic doesn't gain temperature so much, which when your attic gains temperature, um, it's not only uncomfortable during the daytime when it, the sun's shining on it, but all that heat keeps your house warm in the summer when you don't want it to be warm. Zygmunt, what's, what's important about being more sustainable here and, you know, in San Jose or, and around the world, really? What's, what's your, you know, what would you like to share with the community? Well, you know, more than just saving money, which is important, um, building smart solar or green design reduces our impact on the earth. And for human beings to live and thrive, it's important that we take care of our environment and the earth that we live on. Thank you so much.